So I found this really good article that I want to share with you today during my plunge. It's called The Benefits of Cold Water Immersion for Runners. And this is perfect because yesterday I had a 12 mile run and it was uh, pretty taxing. I actually plunged uh, in the morning and then I plunged after the run, which was, I think, completed around one o'clock or so. So this article here, really good. And my temperature today, 52 degrees, which plays perfect with this article. So it's generally believed that immersion therapy can do the following. Reduce swelling, reduce painful sensations in association with muscle pain, reduce the feeling of fatigue, regulate localized blood flow, regulate localized tissue and internal temperature, regulate heart rate, reduce muscle spasms, reduce inflammation, which is my main purpose behind this, uh, reduce muscle damage, improve range of motion, all great things that uh, I'm looking forward to uh, benefiting from as a result of this. Now, they say cold water immersion. It's a form of cryotherapy. It's a recovery method that involves immersing the, immersing the body in cold water uh, somewhere around 59 degrees or less after a workout to enhance the healing process. And I know for a fact, well, from my experience, that yeah, it works. So, a little further down here, does it aid in recovery? Despite extensive research into cold water immersion therapy, the key mechanisms for improving recovery are still not fully understood. Still, we can entertain the following hypotheses. Uh, vasoconstriction narrowing of the blood vessels. Uh, analogistic effect of cold water, decreased inflammation pathways. Placebo effect and hydrostatic pressure. Okay, here's where I, I thought was awesome. Well, one of the things I thought temperature and practical applications. Although there is no current consensus on the temperature needed for optimal results, research protocol generally looks at between 50 and 59 degrees Fahrenheit with an average temperature of 52. Therefore, it's advisable to opt for a temperature around 11 Celsius or 52 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what I got today. I was adjusting the temperature uh, to make it more doable and uh, easier for my wife to do it because uh, she doesn't like the cold, cold stuff. Now, duration. Researchers suggest a time between 11 and a 15 minutes. That seems like a long time at 52 degrees. I've been experiencing um, a shivering effect uh, for well after 30, 45 minutes after. So I'm putting sweatpants on, long shirt. One researcher says that you want to go maybe 11 minutes total for the week uh, of Im total immersion for some great benefits. So this going, wow, it's quite incredible. Uh, and to encourage the occurrence of blood plasma fractionation, which is the movement of the internal uh, intravascular fluid, it suggests that a person remains immersed for at least 10 minutes to optimize the full recovery effects. Although positive effects of cold water immersion have been reported for durations between one and 15 minutes. So it's still beneficial to opt for shorter immersion sessions. So that works. If you do four sessions at three minutes a piece in one week, you're great. Today I'm doing it for recovery um, as an off day. Well, not an off day because after this, I'm gonna spin for maybe 45 minutes real easy because I've had three solid days of training. Uh, it was a, a, bike, a run, actually three, to go, three days ago, 90 minute bike, nine minute run, nine mile run. Two days ago, it was a three and a half hour bike ride. And then yesterday it was a 12 mile run. And this is all because I'm leading up, uh, I'm on a 12 week program, intermediate program, advanced full distance Ironman training plan that I got off Training Peaks through Coach Wendy Mater. There's a link below if you wanna look into those plans. It's not just triathlon, but there's running, biking, and swimming in there too. So I'm following her plan. So I'm right now I'm 11 weeks out. So that was my last three workouts. Today is gonna to be kind of a recovery day. Tomorrow's gonna to be a swim. 
and because of life, uh, the following day I'm out of town working, so I have no time to uh, train. So today's uh, purpose is to get an extra benefit, even though I plunged twice yesterday, to plunge today uh, because yesterday's run was uh, so taxing. I was pretty wiped out, wiped out yesterday in a good way, in a very good way. Good, uh, good details, good results. And then this reinforces cold water immersion for runners specifically. There's one more thing I wanted to share here, and that is, generally speaking, I found this good thing here about uh, cold water therapy benefits, what you need to know. Of course, you got cold showers, cold water immersion, what I'm doing here, ice baths. So you want to take uh, bags of ice. There's also cryotherapy. I think the, well, obviously, cold, water, cold showers are the easiest to do, but not as fun, I guess. Not that this is fun. Um, and there's the tediousness of having to go get bags of ice, pop it into a, a tub, and then what are you going to do? Keep the tub full, drain it each time, and you're wasting water? Or make an investment into a, a, a cold plunge like this and have it always accessible and always ready to go. This is why I chose this one. So benefits cold water therapy, reduce pain and inflammation, which I'm doing here. Uh, there's a study. Uh, researchers in Hong Kong found that cold water immersion after frequent exercise led to decreased pain and inflammation for up to 24 hours after the workout. Uh, increased metabolic output. Uh, 2014 study in Netherlands found that frequent exposure to extreme cold caused some something called cold-induced thermogenesis in humans. That means exposing yourself to extreme could cold could potentially kick kickstart your metabolism. Heightened immune response. Uh, and a 2019 proof of concept trial, a group of researchers from the Netherlands found that combining cold exposure and breathing exercise elicited an enhanced immune response from study participants. Enhanced mindfulness. That's a bullet point here. Helps you become more mindful and in tune with your body. Helps people sleep better, lower stress levels, absolutely. That is a experience I noticed right away. I improved mental fortitude. Talk about your discipline of being able to handle cold water, handle hard things. How about that we put it that way? If you can handle something like this for long periods of time, other things seem simple, seems easy. I've been doing this for over a month. I've never felt better. I've never slept better, felt better, mentally prepared, optimistic, calm. And it comes to soreness after a workout, maybe a hint, a hint of soreness because I'm doing this every day. I look forward to it. It's part of my mental routine I'm gonna work out hard and I'm gonna cold plunge. Work out, cold water. Work out, cold water. Start the day, cold water. Jump start my day. It's a broken record of, of a positive repeat. Loving it. I don't know how long I've been going, but feels like it might be close to 10 minutes. And with that, these are the benefits of cold water immersion for runners. Did this yesterday for the first time. I'm gonna do it again now, all the way under. I think I did it for 20 seconds. Let's see how long I can go here. Timer's still on, right?
was having flashes of like Houdini or David Blaine staying underwater, under cold water, holding their breath. It's hard. Anyways, all right, all right, all right. That's my day. That's how my day is getting started. Hey, just keep living. Thanks for watching and uh, give it a shot. Try those four different uh, options. Showers, immersion, cryotherapy, ice bath, something. I think you'll enjoy the benefits based on a routine. Adios.